What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Hey, check it out. I'm just riding here with a new homie of mine. But I want to talk about something real quick. It is, this is more aimed at my kids. I know everybody always talks about time, and I talk about time a lot and the value of time because it's the only thing that you don't get back. And I talked about that in one of my previous videos, about two or three videos back. And uh, in case you missed it or you don't watch it, basically, the whole concept is anything you lose in life can be replaced, except for your life, you know, and your time. You know, if you... If you lose money, you can get it back. You can you can lose ten dollars, make a business deal, and make a hundred. You know, if you lose a house, you can buy a new one. If you crash a car, you can get a new one. Even if you lose a child, God forbid, you can make another one. But your time, once it's gone, it's gone. There's no way you can recoup that. It's just it's the past. So anyway, I was talking to my kids. My kids were listening to some some of my videos because my kids listen to my videos. And I was saying I was working 14 to 16 hour shifts, and they're like, "Yeah, but didn't you say you work eight hours?" And I'm like. Yeah, but here's the thing. I was taking public transportation to work. Now, this is why I consider this a 16-hour to a 14-hour shift. Transportation one way is two and a half hours. Then I sit inside the building for another half hour before I start work. All of that is unpaid time. Now, this time I calculate into my hourly wage, which it reduces significantly because it's unpaid. This is six hours total. Three hours there, three hours back. This is important because it's a loss of your time. These six hours of my day would not be lost if I wasn't going to work. I'd be doing something else with it. So when you calculate your hourly or your, you know, your time that you work, you can't just count the time that you're on the job. You also have to count the time that you spend preparing for work, you know, the time that you spend in transportation to work, because otherwise you'd be doing something else. So this is only time applied towards your job, even if you're not getting paid for it the you know the employer doesn't benefit from it you don't benefit from it so what you have to do is you have to find ways to benefit from that time when you are stuck with uh, these dead moments so like what I do is when I take public transportation I take a book like right now I finish rational mail so I'm reading rational mail preventative medicine or I uh, you know while I was on the train I finished the book uh, Shinzui's book uh, the anatomy the anatomy of female power you know, these are the things you have to do in terms of self-improvement when you're using this time, you know, or when you're losing this time. You can't have gaps in your life to where it's just, you've got six hours of absolute loss of your life. If you add that up every single day, if I took the train every single day for one year, you know, and that was six hours every day for a year, how much of my life have I lost doing absolutely nothing? And social media, even though I do spend a significant amount of time on it, communicating with the people over my YouTube channel and, and Facebook channel, you know, that's a loss of time also. You can't just do that. There has to be some sort of self-improvement into it. So I highly suggest to anybody, since this is my kids, you know, to my kids more than anyone else, but if anybody's benefited from this, take the time, pick up a book, listen to an audio book, do something that's going to improve your time, work on business concepts or ideas or whatever else. This is what me and my homie do when we drive. You know, we shoot over ideas or whatever else, commonalities and concepts, but don't just lose it. Anyway, this is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Abu American. I'm out.